Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, April the 30th, and I just wanted to look at the difference in USB power requirements for the RTL SDR, the version 1, 2, and 3. This is a very util, uh, useful device I just found recently. It's a USB power meter. And what you do is you insert it in the USB line. And <clears throat> right now I've got the uh, version 1 of the RTL SDR, and I've got it plugged in here on the first port of the USB uh, a bus here and it's just receiving on the small uh, VHF antenna I'm receiving uh, 104.5 FM in Toronto and I'm measuring uh, 5 volts at 324 milliamps so that's 0.3 amps so that's the power consumption there when I'm uh, listening to FM so we'll just go over here and quickly look at the signal so that's 104.5 on SDR sharp uh, for the version 1 of the SDR. So now we've got the version 2 of the RTL SDR and I just got a whip antenna here about the same length as the uh, antenna on the version 1. It's just a whip antenna uh, connected by the SMA connector here. And now we're measuring uh, 5 volts at 0.319 amps or about 319 milliamps. So that's the power consumption of version 2 and again we're receiving um, we're receiving uh, 104.5 FM stereo on the uh, SDR sharp receiver. Okay now we're looking at the version 2 um, RTL SDR and you can see I've got the nano up converter as well so right now we're listening to a short wave station at 9330 kilohertz and you can see that the power meter is saying uh, 5 volts at 391 milliamps that's 0.391 amps so that's about the limit of the this is a, a type C USB so on the type C port you can get up to I think it's 400 milliamps so it's right at the limit there so I've got uh, two units there. I've got the uh, RTL version two and the up converter drawing power there. So uh, we're taking about 391 or 90, 91, 92 uh, milliamps. So just look quickly at the signal. So there's a signal we're receiving here on SDR sharp. We're looking at 9330 kilohertz a short wave station. So now we're looking at the version 3 RTL. This is the one that has the direct sampling to receive the HF and the regular quadrature sampling uh, for above 25 megahertz. And we can see that it's drawing a lot less power. It looks like it's 5 volts at about 187 to 188 milliamps, so that's 0.18 of an amp. So that's a lot less power than the combination of the uh, version 2 RTL and the up converter and we're receiving the same signal uh, on SDR sharp of 9330 uh, kilohertz again using the um, direct sampling. 